Assume that they're stained, that's why they're a bit black. Do not expect them to get cavitated because if you have a cavitated lesion, it's not pit and fissure sealant that you would be attempting. You would be going for something like preventive present restoration. In this case, uh, we are sealing the stained pits and fissures. That is why the black marking. Uh, what I would want to uh, show you here before we start with the procedure is the armamentarium. So here we have a few burrs. These are from Money and they are titled as CD. CD stands for Children's Dentistry. Here uh, we can see the numericals on the burrs CD51F, CD57F, CD56F, CD54F and uh, these are the various heads of the burrs, of these same burrs. All these burrs are a part of the fissurotomy procedure. So what's fissurotomy procedure? Uh, before we attempt uh, sealing the pits and the fissures, we would be doing something called as fissurotomy. We will just abrade the pits and the grooves, the fissures, with these fissurotomy burrs so that the uh, acceptance of the sealant is very well because you have a, a roughened surface area to uh, accept the sealant. Uh, if you could just focus on these heads of the fissurotomy burrs, the viewers would get a better idea as to how sharp they are. Now there are different types of uh, grooves or fissures, U-type, V-type, I-type, I-K-type, but these cannot be seen with the naked eye. Uh, you'll have to do, a, do an SEM uh, photography and only then you would understand uh, the shape of these grooves. But uh, just to give you some knowledge what kind of or what is the shape of the grooves that is present out there. So uh, once we move after the fissurotomy procedure, I'd like to show you what are the different sealants that we usually use. So I request you to focus here. So um, I have three sealants here. One is uh, the 1 by 3 m ESP. It's also titled as Clinpro, Clinpro sealant. In fact, uh, this is a pink colored sealant, but on curing, it turns white. Uh, this is another company, SDI. It's Conceal F by SDI. Uh, F stands for fluoride, but I would say the amount of fluoride that is present in a GIC based sealant, uh, nothing in resin sealants is really, or rather can really beat GIC based sealants. So we have a GIC based sealant out here. It's called GC g 7 It comes in powder and liquid format. That's how it looks and you're supposed to use your paper pad to mix it and uh, place it. Now, uh, how do you choose which one to go for? I'll share, share with you my experiences, what I do in my practice. Uh, I prefer the Clinpro sealant uh, most of the times. Sometimes when I am a bit bored of the Clinpro sealant, I also go for a Conceal F. Uh, it has a 
better consistency i would say but it is more viscous so sometimes when i have uh, placed the conceal f i still have to use my straight probe into the grooves and the pits and uh, tease it out of the sealants but when it comes to clear pro i do not need to do that because because of the extremely great flow i have to uh, not use my straight probe and it flows very well in every nook and corner of the pit and the groove and if i have a very young patient who cannot really keep his or her mouth open for a really long time cannot give me the isolation that i require with the resin sealant it will be the gc pg7 that i use so uh, that's the tolerance level that is the deciding factor uh, upon um, on the basis of which i really select my sealant so um, apart from this now i think uh, let's go ahead with the procedure yeah so i'll take the water and i'm going to choose uh, CD54F. So this is the fissurotomy procedure. Yeah, I'm just going to abrade these fissures with my fissurotomy brush. I'm plainly following the groove. Done our fissurotomy uh, with the help of the fissurotomy burrs. I used this CD fifty four. So now I'm going to apply some etchant. Be generous as you apply 37% orthophosphoric acid. Also, let it go on to the buccal groove because most of the times the buccal groove also gets cavitated. This is a first permanent molar that we're dealing with in terms of executing on the artificial sealant. So now we keep it for about 10 to 15 seconds, 37% of the phosphoric acid, and now I'm going to wash it away. Also have a gush of air and water together. Do you see that? That is because it also removes the inorganic content. The sudden gush of air, apart from the water. So you need that inorganic content to get out because it's your resin that is going to penetrate, infiltrate, and you need a nice resin tag formation. Okay, so I have dried it. Now I take my bonding agent. There is a very learned researcher called uh, Crow, and uh, he's published a lot of data uh, as to why you need to. Use a bonding agent because it aids in the retention of the sealant. It aids in the longevity of the sealant. So I'm going to take my bonding agent. I'm going to apply the bonding agent to my roofs and pits that underwent fissurotomy. Just the way you do it for your concert. So after you've cured it for 10 seconds, I will be taking my print pro and I'm going to flow it. earlier it is uh, so smooth the flowability of clinpro is so great that you don't need to 
use your straight flow to make sure that it flows in every nook and corner because the viscosity that it has it is very true whereas compared to the CLF by SDI I do have to pick up my straight flow and tease it out towards the ends of the fissures so now that I have already placed uh, the sealant I will go ahead and take my light cure unit and uh, cure it so we finished curing it and that's how it looks look at the pink that has transformed into white after this uh, you do at times take an articulated paper and check if you have flown resin onto the areas where it would interfere with the inclusion and uh, reduce it with uh, silicone pour. So after you've uh, already finished polishing your sealant, what you would do is uh, you would cure your sealant once again for the air inhibition layer or the oxygen inhibition layer. That will really prevent your sealants or composites from turning yellow over a period of time. So that was the procedure for fit and fissure seals. Thank you.